Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, we're gonna have a look at this strange looking thing here. So, and actually I have to disappoint everyone who came here to see someone suffer. It's not a medieval torture device or anything like that. It's a disentanglement puzzle and it's part of the tavern puzzle collection. Came in this bag here, made in the US. And the target of this puzzle is to remove this steel ring here from the rest of the puzzle. And the complete puzzle is made out of steel. And it's very well made, handmade, as le at least it said handmade on the back. And um, it is or it reaches its difficulty based on the very complex design which is which can be very confusing to understand as usual i will post you the link where you can buy this puzzle or also other puzzles of the tavern puzzle collection in the de video description and my difficulty rating of this one would be a four out of a maximum of five it is very confusing as i already said and it is very tricky to solve but if you understand the idea that's behind, you will be able to do it. You also noticed probably I changed the viewing angle for this kind of puzzle because this time it was, I tried to do it on the table, but it was very, very confusing. You will understand as soon as I start to solve it, you will understand what I'm talking about. And therefore I decided to just hang it here on this um, cord. I will just zoom out a bit, just hang it up here and um, yeah, to be able to just use both of my hands to manipulate it. Okay, so this is the starting position and how to get the ring out of disconnected here from the other parts. I will show you after the spoiler break. Okay, so at first some explanation or uh, how I will name the different areas of the puzzle. Okay, so this will be layer one, two, and three, these dog bones here. And each layer is connected to a ring. I will just zoom in a bit to show it to you more in detail. Layer one is connected here to this ring through this loop. Layer two is connected to this ring over here, also through this loop. And then the loop of layer three there's connected this ring over here. Yeah, There are two very big parts over here that are connected to layer one, two, and three. They go from here, from the bottom to the top. And there is this ring and the upper and lower part here. So let's just zoom out a bit again. How to start first? Well, in the beginning, as I said, it looks very confusing. And the first thing we will do is actually we will move this ring. It's not able, uh, possible to move this ring over this end and over this end. So we somehow need to get it maybe outside here. What we will do at the first step is we're gonna take the ring and move it around all the pieces here on the side. And this is um, actually already can be difficult to find this move. Move it all the way uh, on the one side from the bottom to the top. And then on the other side, we do it as well. This puzzle reminds me a bit on the aerodynamics puzzle I solved already in the um, earlier episode. You can also have a look on this one if you like what you see here. And um, the next step will be now to remove these two very long parts from, the, from level one, two and three. And how I do it is the following. I will just zoom in a bit again make it more clear I will take these parts here and move it around the ring number three and number two like this so I will move them around one time over here like this and I will do the same move over here so I will take these two rings and these two loops move them through here and disconnect these pieces from number one and number three and level number three and level number two. So now it looks like this. These two parts hanging down here and also the end piece hanging down here. 
but so far we will not be able to remove the ring. Well, how to proceed? The thing, what you need to understand is that you somehow, because we can move this ring from the top to the bottom around all of these pieces, so the only thing that will keep us from taking it apart is this part down here, okay? So we need to re somehow remove it from the puzzle. And this is very cool because you do not need to remove the ring or manipulate the ring. You need to remove another part as the ring to be able to remove the ring later. So, how to start? We take both of these pieces here on one side. That's an important move, okay? So not each separately. Um, we will both put them on one side. And the first thing we're gonna do is we want to free it from the lower dog bone here, from the level one, and move it to level two or three. And how to do it? Well, we can do different moves. You can put it through here, but in the end, the only move how we can remove it from this one is we're gonna twist it around this ring, but it's blocked by the next level, okay? So what we're gonna do is we take both of these pieces up here. Let's start with one first, and I will move and rotate this piece around all three layers at one time. This can be a little bit fiddly, but this time it worked out. And I will do the same move also with the second piece. And I will end up, if I manage to do it and not get stuck somewhere, I will end up up here in this position. And I think... <laughs> Now you can imagine how confusing it will be if I do it on a table and it's not hanging from top to bottom. It's it's a complete mess, okay? So therefore I did it. I decided to do it in this video from this point of view. Okay, now we are connected to, not anymore to level number one, but we are connected to level number three and level number two. And we would like to only uh, connect now, be connected now to level number two. So. We can easily remove it from level number three by moving the part through the ring here of level number two and around the ring of level number three. Same with the second one again. And the result is we are now only connected to level number two. Now we need to get it somehow off level number two but also not connected to level number one. So it will not be possible to twist it because otherwise it will be connected to this one again. What we're gonna do is we put it here through the ring of level number one and flip it around level number two and level number three, like this. So look at this mess, yeah? Same with this one. Also flip it around And if I make it, it's now only connected to level number three. It's still a little bit uh, mixed up here, but it's only connected here to level number three. Level number one is free, level number two is free. And now it's time to remove it from the level three, which is easy and I will do it the same way as I did it before. I will just move the ring of number two again over here and move the ring of level number three separately through each of these parts to conf confuse everyone who's not confused until now. <laughs> and now I will be able to pull it out to the bottom and separate this part from the puzzle, okay? So if you handle it yourself, it's, it's probably easier to understand as if you see it in this video. And um, I will just put this on the table. And the last step will be now to remove this ring, which is easy from the rest of the parts. I will just move it over here all the way through and also on the other side. And we free the ring and the puzzle is solved. So it's a very, very cool puzzle and with a very unique solution. And um, it's really fun. It's absolutely worth its money. And 
yeah, what else should I say? I will also show you how to reassemble it now. And I can really, really recommend this one. And I will definitely try more of this kind in the future. Since I changed the viewing angle, it would be also interesting for me to understand how you like it. If you like it, if it's easy to understand, if I maybe block too many times here with my hands the um, camera, just let me know in the comments because it's very difficult to handle, as you can imagine. And um, yeah. I just put in the ring again, and now I will proceed here with this bottom part. So I will do it the same way as I did before. I will put it through here, through the ring of number, number one, and I will put it around number three. Both of these pieces around number three. Let's first do it with one. It's easier to, to handle. Number, the first one is in. And I will move it around number two. So, like this. And now I will proceed and move also the second one in. around number three and also number two. It can be that um, I doing this doing the assembly a little bit different as the as the um, this assembly. but um, this is due to I do not exactly know the ex uh, the sequence. So I just do it also kind of intuitive, okay? So now I would like to connect it only to level number two. So I move these two rings, both of them around these pieces. Just a second. Am I right or am I wrong? Ah, I just need to disconnect number three now. So I will move it through here and disconnect number three. One of them, two of them done. And I'm now connected only to this, I move up again, only to number two again. Now, I'm gonna move again up here and twist this part around all the other parts, same as I did in the beginning, around all three loops, all at once. And this is a real mess to handle. It's completely confusing. And when you do, when you do this the first time, you actually cannot imagine at all that this is part of the correct solution. But if you make it, you're gonna end up in... Now it gets really tight here. I'm struggling to get the piece number two through. Here we go. So now I'm connected to number one and number three. I'm not, actually, I'm not sure if you had the same position when I disassemble it. But if I will now disconnect it from number three by moving it again around the ring of number three, I will get back into the position where only number one is connected. And this is already pretty good because we are nearly done. Let me zoom out a bit. I only need to get number one now connected again to the uh, this this piece connected from number one to two and three and this is pretty easy i can only move them over through through the ring of number one and around both rings of number two and three same on the other side also move them around number two and three they are back in initial position and the only thing i need to do to finalize the reassembly is to move this ring around all pieces down through this 
complete mess over here and I'm back. Oh wonder, I'm back <laughs> in the initial condition. So I know it's very confusing, it's very confusing. I can really com recommend, try it yourself. You will be you will be blown away by, the, by its complexity. Really, really cool puzzle. Four out of a maximum of five and difficulty. And uh, my best recommendation here to get one of these. I hope you liked today's episode. Let me know in the comments if it was understandable. <laughs> and um, if you like it, just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as well as to my Facebook and Instagram channel if you're interested. And until next time, keep on puzzling.